the Mississippi Senate, the state Senate, has passed a bill that would ban gender reaffirming care for anyone under the age of 18. 12 News Richard Lake joins us live from the Capitol as the bill heads to the governor's desk. Richard? All right, well, supporters of this bill have long held that it is purely a means of protecting children, while opponents believe that it is much more harmful. We love people. We don't hate people. And we want them to be well. We want them to be healthy. We want them to seek the help they need. But as Senator Jordan uh, so eloquently pointed out, these are unnatural things that are being done in our state. Opponents of this legislation hold that medical care mentioned in the bill is not accessible or seeked out by transgender individuals in Mississippi under the age of 18. Senator Joey Fillingain answered questions on the Senate floor about the frequency of these procedures. I don't think it's, it's often, I don't, I don't want to make it out like this is, you know, rampant or this happens a lot, but um, with uh, one plastic surgeon friend of mine that I've spoken with in Hattiesburg just this weekend, he confirmed that, yeah, I can't give you specifics, but yeah, I've done this. The bill would legally allow for any doctor that performs these procedures to anyone under the age of 18 be sued. Democratic Senator Rod Hickman proposed a failed amendment that would allow for mental health services and providers be shielded from legal action. Counseling is not prohibited in this legislation. Um, it's not prohibited at all. I, I, I believe it's unnecessary and I would ask you to oppose it. The fact that you would call the redundancy of the amendment redundant, it's hypocritical in nature. For this to be the first bill to make it through the process outside of the appropriation process says again that we are finding issues that don't exist in this state and we are fixing things that don't need to be fixed while our entire house is burning down. The ACLU has sent a letter to Governor Tate Reeves asking him to veto the bill, calling it a, quote, devastating development for transgender youth in Mississippi. Now, Governor Reeves is expected to sign this bill into law. He took to Twitter earlier today saying that he looks forward getting to this bill. For now, it's Richard Lake reporting live for 12 News from the Capitol.